show you again with this same steel that you've just made your tension wrench with out of a sunshade. All you do then, cut a small piece off. With this we're going to make a quick disposable pick. You can make these double ended, single, however you want to do them. If you haven't got a pick, great way just to have a practice yourself. But the good thing is you can make these to any size you want. You can just chuck them, you can make them disposable because they're only costing you a couple of pence. This one's a little bit curved so we'll just straighten that up slightly. Simple as that really. Um, I've just cut a little piece in there. Normally I'll attach that to uh, my key ring. But anyway, back to this. To do this one, put it in the vice at an angle first of all. Um, see how that's in there at an angle? Can you see that on there? And it's not very clear is it? I'm going to pause the tape and I'm going to alter the angle just so you can see this. See how that's just angled up through there. Basically, what you try to do is create an angle. So where the pick's in position there, you want it to be like an half diamond. So you want that triangular type shape. So all we're doing here is making one side of that triangle. So we're going to move that a bit, bit lower down so it's easier to cut the angle. Right Now you see there... Just tighten that up. I've made a triangle. Yeah. I don't know if you can quite get that. And my camera, I don't think it's going to sharpen it. No, it's not going to do it. Anyway, I've made a little triangle there. All we're going to do then, with a file, we're going to shave that triangle down. Don't put much pressure on this, by the way. Vice is that hammered, it's not really holding the pick piece in that well. But we'll see how we get on with it, might use a different vice. Oh, yeah, we got away with it. Right, you see that shape now, it's going to a point. Next, you put half of this height, there is actually on these a thin line down the middle. I'm using that as a guide, which is basically halfway. So if this is, I don't know, 5mm, you're going for like your 2.5mm sort of mark. Yeah, so you're going down two and a half mil, tighten up the vise. Yeah, so there it is, about halfway. Then the next tool you're going to use is one of these, which is like the triangular uh, file, small file. You can use a big one, but I find the smaller ones a little bit more accurate. So you're lining this up, so this edge piece here, the flat piece that's at the top. That's where you're going to end up. So to make a triangle on your pick, that's how you're lining that up. And then starting off really slowly until you've got a little groove to use as a guide. And with the peak of the triangular file, once you've got that line in there, which we have now, you can basically file into it. use two hands there to try and speed it up so you can get to see this a little bit better and quicker because obviously you don't want to be hanging about all day. Right there you go that's done. Now I'll show you, I'll take it out and show you briefly. Right can you see that there now we've got a triangular point which is like a pit. Normally I wouldn't have taken that out of the vise but on this occasion I have just to show you what's what. I'm going to put it back in roughly halfway again, back into the vise. Now we're doing getting the triangular one, the big vise this time, the yeah, big file this time. And all I'm doing is filing some of that excess away. You don't have to do the whole thing, just the end bit where you're picking. move that up a bit so I can get a little bit lower down with that. version to show you normally you know if I was doing this even making a disposable one I'd take a bit more time than this and 
you know, if it's worth doing, you do it, try and do it right. It's only a quick one just to give you the idea. So there you go, there's my pick. It's a little bit crooked. One thing always to do before you put this in a lock, where you file there's some rough areas, you'll feel them, but best not to rub your finger down them straight away because sometimes you get a little filing in your finger. I get the round mini file and just basically run that down there, which will thin that smooth those edges down for you do the same on the other side a little bit on the top now I'm going to use this as an example I'll just put it over this there you go so you can see that better now it looks like an half decent pick close up I can see it's rough it goes higher here at this point which I wouldn't want on one of my picks but it's only for demonstration so we're going to pick with that anyway but basically that's the way to make the pick I'll just take a little bit out because it is annoying me. So normally I'd, I'd have left, put this back in the vise and made it a lot more accurate. But feeling a bit lazy and I'll try to do it as quick as I can so you don't fall asleep watching it. Take a little bit more out of there. Uh, so a, a little bit better. It's still not perfect how I would like it but Again, it's a better pick. Can you just pick that up there now? Yeah, it's looking better. Now, we might as well. Only got a cheap lock here, demonstration. It's a bird. You can normally clap your hands and open them, so it's not saying much, but it's just to demonstrate that the thing works. So, I've got, I'm just going to open this up a bit. There we go, just to give me a bit more space. Um, there you go, bird lock, homemade tension wrench. Put that in the lock. Homemade pick, put that in the in the lock and try to get this at a silly angle, aren't I? So basically that's going into there and then you're just raking it as you would normally. I'm just gonna pause the tape and I'm gonna stand on the other side so I can hold this and show you at the same time. Uh, back with you again. Um homemade tension wrench, I'm um, going into the lock. Nothing special, but as I say, just a cheap one that you can dispose of should you need to. And the cheap pick that we've just made. Um, basically, standard rake, light pressure on the tension wrench. Normally, I'd have put some tape on the handle of this pick if I was taking it anywhere. Um, purely so I can grab it better, because this metal stuff slides straight through your fingers when you try raking. But there you go couple of seconds in, only a cheap lock, it's only a bird, do you know what I mean, it's not a tough lock All the, the only purpose of using this is just to demonstrate that on a cheap lock it will work straight away obviously a bit of practice, if you can rake a normal lock you'll be able to do it with this old made lock I would suggest putting tape on the handle just to thicken it up so you can get a better grip um, but there you go, couple of pens, you've got a tension wrench and a pick, car boot prices you're going to get a set of 15 picks and tension wrenches to go with them for 20p, 30p. How disposable is that? You know, ideal if you've got a youngster who's starting off and you don't want to mess him with your good picks. Knock them one of these cheap and nasties up just to experiment with and let them play about with. It doesn't matter if they break them at that price. So there you go, more homemade tools. Easy to make, easy to use.